Hey everybody, it's Capnex24 bringing you another part of Let's Play L ah. Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Jeez, anyway, talk to this dude here. Uh, say well, and then say, tell him you're not pulling his leg. Uh, he says, oh wow, the princess really has been kidnapped. I've got to inform the princess. Oh, wait. And then you can leave. Go out here. Where you're supposed to go, as you will find, right there, something appears. Zelda is not dead, sort of. Her spirit's alive, and kind of her ghost kind of wanders through. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the guards can see it, but we can. Go up here. Zelda's spirit wanders over here. Walks right through the door. Let's follow her. Go upstairs to her chamber right up here all right here we got a cutscene there's Zelda spirit can you see me link we nod yes I never knew the Chancellor was capable of such evil all these years and I never noticed what he really was I was a fool. And the Tower of Spirits breaking apart. You saw it too, didn't you, Link? It must have something to do with the Dark Forces. After all, they made the Spirit Tracks disappear. This must be the handiwork of Cole and his cronies. But what... Yeah, whatever. He said something about the Spirit Tracks vanishing. What did he mean by that? And why would they take my body away with uh, with them? What would they do with it? Oh, I'm sorry. It, it seems I'm much lighter without my body. Listen, Link. Let's try again to go to the Tower of Spirits. Now more than ever, we, need, we must find the Tower of Sage. But before we go, I want to show you something. These are the Spirit Pipes. Or spirit flute, whatever. Just gonna call it the pan pipes or spirit pipes. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna call it what I want to call it. This is my let's play. What am I talking about? I can't carry it while I'm in this state, as you can see. But I'm certain it's meant to protect me. But will you take this? And will you come to the tower with me? You're, only the, you're the only person I can turn to now. Well, of course we'll say yes. And there we go, we get the spirit flute. And let's get going. When we try to leave, Zelda comes out. Wait just a second, Link. The tracks are gone, and even if they weren't, we don't have a train. How can we get to the Tower of Spirits? Oh, I know. I've heard there's a path from the castle to the tower. But if it does exist, it certainly hasn't been used recently. There's a door at the back of the castle. Maybe the path is somewhere there. Let's go see. All right, let's go see. To get to that path, you need to go... Ooh, where was it? I think it was... Well, it, it doesn't really matter. You need to get down to the first floor. So we're just gonna go through here. Alright. Now over here. Well, you guys can't see it, but up on the map, there it actually shows um, a passageway at the back. Where we need to go is over here. And I'll pop up the map for you guys. Right there. We need to go and get over there. Let's do that. Oh, that was not the right room. We need to go up here. Yeah, not what I wanted to do. Jeez. Go over here. Through here. 
Oh wow, we didn't even need to go downstairs. We could have just gone all the way around. I feel stupid now. Alright, there's a there's a red rupee. Which is worth 20, not bad. Okay, so yeah. Kind of disregard some of what I said. Go over here. Then over here, but there's a guard blocking the way. What is it, recruit? Eh? I can tell by looking at you that you're not adequately prepared. There are all sorts of strange b beasts on the other side of this door. It's not the kind of place you want to go without a sword. And blah blah blah. We need to go find the captain to give us a sword. Pretty sure this guy points out where the captain actually is. But you don't really need to with this walkthrough. The captain's right in there. So let's get over there. Okay, here... Now we need to go down to the first floor. Let's see, I think we can go... Can we go down this way? Yeah, we don't really have much other choice. Go down there, over here. Way over here. And in here, we are going to find the captain. Talk to him. Tell him right. Alright. He lets us use a sword. And, alright. We need to hit these guys twice with a targeted attack. Just click at them from a range, kind of. Or quite frankly, just... Whatever, as long as you hit them twice, basically. And there's a sli side slash. If you draw like a small line like that, then you'll use the side slash. Two hits on each of them and they'll knock them out. And now the spin attack. If we do four spin attacks in a row, we're gonna get dizzy. So try to avoid doing more than three because that can really leave you vulnerable at the wrong time, believe me. Anyway, blah, 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 we did our thing, and we get to keep the sword. So now we can go, and we can um, go back and go through that place. So, let's go up here once more. Quite frankly, we could use pretty much any method of getting upstairs, I guess. But whatever, this one's close by. Here and here once more. We can also smash pots if we want to. We don't need to. Talk to this guy. And he's going to let us through. At that, I'm going to finish off this video. If you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.